Hey everyone, it's Miranda and Callie and we're the Crafty Gals. We have a bunch of projects we've done recently. We're just going to show um, some of our projects we've done. Just kind of show you and give you some ideas. Um, the first thing I have, I think I've shared this in another video. It's a little trash can made out of a little can, so that's really cute. This I made, if you get like um, things to make tea, what are they called? Tea bags. Um, you get this little like box, the Lipton box, and so I put my inks in that. So I just covered it and put buttons on the flowers on the top, so that came out pretty cute. Okay, next I have a mini album, and I did this on one of my um, shortcut top videos. Tags and journal spots, and this is the one I made on the video. And I also made a back to it. What was it supposed to happen? That's okay. That's kind of cute, actually. So, I can fix that or leave it. I don't know. I must have got folded when I stuck it in there. Um, it says, Fun in the Sun. This is a frame with some um, clear on it. This is, like, chipboard pieces that surprisingly match the paper I picked out. So... Pretty cute. This is just kind of like a Heart Forever page. It's really cute. And then that is the little pullout. And this was the actual paper, and then the back was white, and you could still see the embossed from this side. So I just um, inked it up with green ink, and you can still see those lines from the other side. And. I have this last page. Um, I, I usually like to leave one page extremely blank so I can include as many pictures as I need to fill it. And I also usually leave the last pocket blank so I can just fill it with pictures and anything else I need. So, that was my mini album that I've been working on. And then I have some cards that I've done. This one. Just plain and I stitched right there. Really cute a little owl card. A sunshine card. Callie and I actually made card kits to swap and she designed this one and gave it to me to make. Really cute. For this is really easy. It's like a little house. Really, really, really cute. And I put it on some like a hill. This is a box that I've kind of come up with to store all of my cards that I make. This is just a shoe box. Um, and it says like blank note cards. It's got a bunch of blank note cards and these actually need to go in there. Birthdays. Thanks get well and then seasonal so that was what I've done and Kelly's going to show you some of the stuff she's done okay this was this is a card and this is from the card kit um kits that we made for each other and this one I designed and um it is a really cute froggy card it says hello on it um I think this is actually an SVG file I'm pretty sure. And then I just did googly eyes, you know, ribbon, all that kind of stuff. And I used pop dots to kind of pop up the frog a little bit. Just blank so you can put whatever you want in there. Okay, and um, this is my mini album. And it is my first mini album. So I just want to show you guys because I'm super excited about it. So um, this is a, just a chipboard um, cover. And it says Cali and Thickers. And it was pretty hard, actually, to, to get it on, so I had to, like, glue it. But it was, they would not stick, and I think it's because of the glitter on this. But, um, these came in a pack of, like, three for 25 cents at Walmart after Valentine's Day. So I thought that was a really good deal. And this is, one, like, one of the others. This is the large one. Okay, so I'm just going to go through my mini album. Okay. Okay held together by a binder ring. It's kind of a spring page um, embellishment that says in the pocket, my life. 
and I cut it out with newspaper letters. And the embellishment, this actually covers up one of my mistakes where I like cut it wrong. So I just have um, some chipboard. And some of the stuff I'm using in here came from this. It's called a deluxe page kit. And it is so, it's awesome. It comes with things for every single season. It's just, it's really good. And then um, this is faux stitching. And you probably can't see it really well because it's red marker. I mean, yeah, red pen. But probably can't see that good. Okay, this is just a zebra page with a frame. And this, um, if you flip this down, it says peace, love, happiness. And if you flip this up, it says live, laugh, love. And I'm going to kind of show you guys just like that. Probably can't see it really well. Okay. And I could put pictures on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to. This is just a blank page. Um, that can put pictures, whatever I want. This is just a um, tag. This one's a pretty busy page. Um, just an embellishment, some ribbon. Probably going to do journaling on this page. This one I like a lot, and I got these two um, things from the deluxe page kit that I showed earlier. And um, so it's just a frame, and then it says summer days, and it has a little B or whatever you want to call it on there. Okay, this page I like a lot. It has a space for journaling, but also this. It's titled Unforgettable. You can just flip through it. I'm going to put pictures, um, journaling in there. And that's just paper clipped on. Okay, then you flip the page. This is kind of orange themed. You know, just have a button, a place for journaling, a place for a picture. And then on this page, this is a paper clip, actually. And I just... Um, Oh, my tags fell out. Okay, I'll put it back in. Okay, but these are just two tags. Black pocket, um, things like that. They keep falling out. I don't know why. Okay. Now this, so just a cute page tag. This is kind of a flowered theme page with an embellishment. Then you flip it over, and this says, um, Dreams Come True. It's very cute. And then I have another pocket like that on the other page. And then this one, it's pretty plain. Um, to try to put as many pictures as possible on this, it says sun-kissed summer. And you flip it over. And this is actually the tag that actually fell out, but you just stick it in there. And the, it's, whoa. I like this page because you can, this, I used ribbon as my um, pocket. So that's pretty cool. And I just inked that. It's not another piece of paper. Okay, and then we have the ending. It just says, um, April 2010. And then this is the backing. And this is my first mini album, so, I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't think it's the best I could have done. But I, I like it a lot. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment and subscribe, and have a great day, you guys. Bye!